Today, I'm going to be going over a fantastic build for the new Dead Messenger Exotic Grenade Launcher. This build really plays off the strengths of this gun and almost instantly became one of my favorite and most enjoyable builds I've used in PvP. With just a few hours of using it, I got multiple We Ran Out of Metals with this, which isn't very common for me using a new build. Let's hop right into this. First, let's take a look at what this exotic is. The Dead Messenger is a wave frame similar to the legendary grenade launcher Deafening Whisper. The exotic perk for this gun makes it shoot out three waves in a fan instead of one straight wave. While this might not sound great in PvP, it makes the gun incredibly easy to use compared to the other wave frames and allows you to hit enemies that are behind cover which is amazing for finishing and priming targets. You can also change the flavor of this whenever you want, but that's not important. Now let's dive into the rest of the build. For the primary, we're going to be using the Messenger Pulse Rifle. Pairing these together allows us to prime the enemies with the grenade launcher and quick swap to the pulse for a super easy cleanup from almost any range. Any high impact pulse works well, but I recommend the messenger, mostly because it can roll with kill clip or desperado, which can lead to some really nice multi-kill and kill streaks. The messenger also has almost the same name as our grenade launcher, which does nothing but is kinda cool. Now for the subclass and exotic armor, we're gonna be using marksman dodge for easy and fast reloads for our grenade launcher. We're also going to be using arc bolt nades for cleaning up enemies that are around cover. When this is paired with our grenade launcher to hit targets around corners, you can get kills without ever seeing your enemies. Next we're going to be on top tree arc strider for extra melee lunge and the ability to get our health and dodge back on melee kills. And last of all, we have the bombardiers, which might sound strange, but it pairs amazingly with the subclass and grenade launcher. This part of the build has saved me from shotgun rushers countless of times, and is great for a last resort to get a kill before you die. Now is this build actually effective in anything competitive, or is it just for casual PvP? While this isn't as easy or forgiving as most popular meta builds, I've had a lot of success against some very good teams in comp. I think if you can master this build and playstyle, it can be very effective. But it's definitely not something you want to throw on and jump into trials with. This is a very strange build and might not work well for some people. But I definitely recommend giving it a try because it is a lot of fun to use. There's a lot of changes you can make to this build so you can fit your personal playstyle a little better or to use on Titan or Warlock. If you find anything you like better than the original build, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video to be any good at all, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. This is my first video like this. It should only get better from here. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time, hopefully. I can't believe what I'm seeing.